I don't think that they really thought that I was going to ever work. I mean, we're talking about 25 black men. Was, that's how it started. It was 25 of us. In order to, to achieve change, and this is what we're after, there has to be conflict. Back in the 60s, when you called the ambulance, the police came. Policemen were in charge of taking people to the hospital. And they would put the person on that little stretcher and throw them in the back of the paddy wagon, slam the door, and go as fast as they can. People were dying from this. We are aiming for a training program for ambulance attendants under the direct supervision of physicians. Freedom House was a program to hire the unemployable, some of the alcoholic and drug abuse people that uh, they wanted to get off the streets. The Hill District is the number one poverty area in the city with the largest number of underprivileged. I remember the title, the title said, ambulance driver. So I said to myself, an ambulance driver? What is this, am I, am I gonna be a chauffeur for sick people? And we went to school and we went through training and we did an excellent job. We were starting IVs in the field, uh, doing tracheal intubation in the field. We were the ones who changed all emergency medical services, we became the standard. At that time, black people couldn't get an ambulance. You couldn't get an ambulance into a lot of communities. We're the last on the list to get service. If you look at the time, 1967, of course, there were the urban rebellions, and 68, the killing of Dr. King. Black power is born. Young blacks with no patience for King's nonviolence. And there are riots, burning, looting, rock throwing. We'd have to leave our lights on inside, the, inside this police wagon so they could see who we were. Otherwise, without it, they're gonna break the windshields out and we'd probably get drug out and beat to death. But they knew about Freedom Hospital. Once people realized that we were in to help them, we had no problem. There was a whole argument as to whether Freedom House could cover the entire city because it was perceived that the peoples of the African American community were receiving a much higher standard of care in emergency situations than other communities were in the same city. Because that we were black, we went into some of the different neighborhoods and people weren't ready for that. I remember the whole political fight around the future of Freedom House. But the mayor decided to put his own service in the system in opposition to Freedom House in 1975. How can I be nice about this? He really didn't like Freedom House. That's being blunt. You know, when you can take something from nothing and make something out of it, everybody else wants to get in on the play. I want to emphasize how we were used. There was a lot of dirt involved with Freedom House. Nobody wants to talk about that. There was money taken, there was money stolen. It was to the advantage of a lot of people. And I know this occurred, but you won't get nobody to admit it. Here was something that black people had pioneered. It was taken up by the government. And then the next thing you know, taken away from us. The city just cut the legs right out from under us. Everybody advanced, everybody profited, everybody made out, but not us. We were just like the field hands.